and I realised that um, Frank, his literary imagination, this is probably the most sustained work of literary imagination in the history of Australian literature. Other people write novels and they're like big mountains, but they're not connected to each other. <clears throat> Everything is connected here. He's created an entire geography. There's valleys, there's hidden glens, there's mountain peaks, there's like, he's, it's everything. So with the archive stuff, Frank is, has a very thorough archive in which he has kept everything from a very young age, including outgoing letters, so he'd keep mm. copies of it. So you have both sides of correspondence. <laughs> because I've known Frank for a while, you end up seeing your own name in the archive, so you realise that you've been pulled into the archive yourself which is terrifying. But, but to his credit, he, he did uh, give me full unrestricted access to everything, including a lot of restricted stuff, including a lot of stuff he hadn't even given to the archive, the official archives, um, as well as a lot of stuff that the family themselves had given me and other people that have, have given me stuff that's kind of not public. Uh, and to his credit, even though he was kind of very uncomfortable, but spent his life becoming more comfortable revealing his, himself to the world and creating the world, as I said, in which he could be himself, he knew that part of this process, this was his way of doing that, was to, to palm it off onto somebody else to do for him. Uh, and that, of course, has a lot of responsibility to it. Just trying to push aspects of his life that kind of go beyond what the media or a journalist's public perception of Frank is. Like there's a public persona of Frank Morehouse. He very much helped cultivate that, uh, but he did so in order to hide behind. Um, but also in order to cover up a lot of, not to cover up, but to, to, to allow him to do some very interesting things and to seed some ideas into the world. And I've just kind of picked up some of those hidden things and tried to bring them in into a narrative. So a lot of people, in, in because the first book is in the 70s, a lot of the stuff he was writing for was little journals and magazines that nobody sees now. No one's read any of this stuff. No one's read what Frank has said um, in you know, 60 years, 70 years. Mm -hmm.